We're out in the garage today to take some measurements. Just to kind of back up what we were talking about yesterday. Uh, this particular car does not have an dash and meter. It has a Dakota Digital electronic dash, no and meter, volt meter only. I've added an and meter into the circuit near the starter relay to to emulate the behavior of the ammeter if it was in the dash. Right now everything's off. I have a centered ammeter. I'm not measuring any current flow with this little uh, clamp on ammeter. They're not terribly accurate, but they, uh, they give us a rough idea what's going on. Uh, voltage uh, 1289 as we talk here, but I'm going to turn on some lights and see what happens. First step is park lights, basically. In this car, they've all been converted to LED. I've got uh, 1.6 amps. All four corner park lights, uh, running lights, um, hardly pulling anything. And turn on the headlights now, low beam. These are hella. E code headlights, 100 watts. Actually, the low beams are 80 watts. I've got 15 amps of current uh, for the two uh, 80 watt uh, low beam filaments currently active. And you'll see that the ammeter is registering a discharge with the engine off. And let's kick on the high beams and see what happens. Stand by. High beams. Um, those are 100 watt filaments and all four bulbs. Uh, let's make sure they're all going. Yeah. Uh, 26 amps of current. We got quite a uh, little bit of a deflection on the ammeter towards the discharge side. These lights are pulling their current on the alternator side of this ammeter. Let's start up the car. Stand by. I do have the idle on the sniper cranked up a little bit just so we keep out of the, uh, the low output charging at the alternator idle. In charging current, I have to start up. That's about five or six amps at the moment. You do see a little bit of movement in the ammeter, so I'm going to start. Importantly, let's see what the lights do to the ammeter and the ammeter current flowing while it's charging. No change to the ammeter. No current flow added to the ammeter from those lights. We're still on high beam. That's 25, 26 amps right there. I'll look at the lights off and see if there's any reaction to the ammeter.
hook up the load to the battery now and see if we have a change in turn to cross that hand meter. Not much of a turn, just a hell of a code, but it does have a 100 watt H1 bulb in it. It's worth about 10 to 7 amps. Let's see what it does. It's got 12, 13 amps total now across the hand meter. Have an ammeter charging indication that wasn't there before. But if I take the load off, indication goes away, we're we'll back down to the five amps so that the battery charges. Close 